Peace, everybody. Larry King will be retiring soon from his very successful uh, television talk show on CNN. Larry has interviewed nearly 50,000 guests over the past 25 years there at, uh, at CNN. And his guest lists include kings, queens, presidents, world leaders, and the common man. Rush Limbaugh is not far behind with more than 20 years as a radio talk show personality, and his voice has been heard by millions, including world leaders and, of course, the common man. Now, both of these men over the past 20 years have helped shape the destiny of America socially and politically. Their influence in the lives of many people whom they have never personally met is astounding. Yet thousands of white liberal Americans claim that Obama's 20 years of sitting at the feet of Jeremiah Wright had no effect upon him. And of course, we know Jeremiah Wright is America's most prolific hate monger. I mean, he hates white people and he hates America. The, uh, it was sickening uh, to watch these white liberal racists take all personal responsibility away from Obama about a 20-year relationship of prima facie political importance in the life of Obama and who he would be were he to become president. In our American democracy, we have the freedom of choice of our political leaders and, and then to encourage them to pursue policy that we believe is right. That's the American way. And as long as these policies do not violate the Constitution, we are free to pursue them. Now, the policies at present of Mr. Obama are for many of us disfavored, but constitutional. So if just for argument's sake, we respected his right to pursue policy, then he's just another president with whom we disagree politically. However, if there is reasonable proof that Mr. Obama is not a natural born citizen and his presidency is illegal, then his policies are moot. The evidence that Mr. Obama is not natural born is overwhelming, pointing to the fact of an illegal presidency and that Mr. Obama is at present in violation of the Constitution, the very document and foundation of our government is what Obama and many of his followers have willfully violated. This very same document is the single responsibility that Mr. Obama is charged to uphold. If he is not natural born and he has violated the Constitution, then how can we pretend to believe he will uphold it? Uh, what then should we oppose? Should it be his policies or his violation and criminal aggression against this nation? The next time you listen to Rush Limbaugh, Bill O'Reilly, Glenn Beck, and Sean Hannity, ask yourself these questions. Do they know that there is a serious unanswered question about Obama's eligibility? Number two, if Obama is a violator of the Constitution, then his alleged presidency is the most despicable, unpatriotic act in the history of our nation. If our Constitution is a sacred document, should not all honorable Americans be alarmed at the potential of it being trampled on by Obama? And finally, is it possible that the above mentioned so-called conservative talk show hosts know of this violation, but do not have the courage or the integrity to bring us the truth? It is obvious that Obama believes in the hate for this nation personified in Jeremiah Wright. His policies on health care reform, immigration reform, taxing the rich and Afghanistan are right out of the pulpit of Jeremiah Wright's cult center. Moreover, many white Americans agree with Jeremiah Wright that America is racist. So they bend over backwards to support Obama because he is alleged to be black. Recently, I was interviewed by a student from Hanover University in Berlin. The student quoted 
a statement from Obama's speech on race made in Philadelphia during the 2008 campaign. I yelled at that student and told him, never insult me like that again. And I went on to say that the speech of Obama in Philadelphia contained no profound statements nor original ideas or claims uh, such as Dr. King's I Have a Dream speech or President John Kennedy asks not what your country can do for you. Indeed, that Philadelphia speech could have been written by a sophomore in high school. But because Obama is alleged to be black, the bar of greatness has been lowered by the white liberal races. It appears to me that the so-called conservative talk show people are instruments used to control, sabotage, and quell all questions about Obama's natural born status and violation of our Constitution. This I find equal to Judas or Benedict Arnold. They are pacifying many with their phony outrage while taking in millions of dollars to discourage you from knowing the truth. This false hope in the November 2010 election touted by the Tea Party and these talk show jackals is ridiculous. Every president since Ronald Reagan has faced low poll numbers and a loss of congressional seats in their midterms, yet have gone on to win second terms in the White House. The exception, of course, being George Bush 41. The networks, television networks and clear channel radio are making billions taking different political positions opposing one another while our nation is being destroyed by this quasi-Muslim freak called Barack Hussein Obama. Wake up, America. Glenn Beck, Rush Limbaugh, Sean Hannity, and Bill O'Reilly are nothing more than big business personalities. They are selling you a product called armchair patriotism while collecting billions from the political process. They remind me of Don King, the great fight promoter. They don't care who wins, as long as there can be another fight with the new champion. And why do we need the Tea Party? Don't we have enough bureaucracy in America? They are just another group taking up hotel rooms, spending money, and uh, extending the fight schedule and costing you more money to attend the event. So, 20 years in a church, and it didn't mean a thing. <laughs> All the power of racism and the extent America is willing to bend over and the amount she is willing to pay to try to erase slavery from American history. Indeed, a new slavery has come to our shores, and the slaves today are God-fearing, constitution-loving white Americans, and the slave master is Mr. Obama. And Glenn Beck, Sean Hannity, Bill O'Reilly, and Rush Limbaugh are the new house niggers. Peace, everybody. Outlaw. That's what God said. That's what God said. That's